Welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm up here in my shop and uh, just doing a little staining on my workbench here. Put my top on last night and then uh, let it uh, set up and dry and glue on it. And today I went around the edge up with my router and routed me an edge all the way around the edge up there. And now I'm just adding a little stain. I figured, well, I wasn't gonna do any kind of staining on my workbench. I said, well, it's just a workbench. But the more I thought about it, I said, well, you know, I'm gonna make it a little bit, you know, look, make it look a little bit nicer. And uh, I had extra stain and stuff, so not really sure what combination of stains I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna do it all the same color. I'm just gonna uh, try to maybe do like a two or three tone, just see how it looks. Uh, I figure this top looks so nice on it that, well, I probably need to go ahead and put me a stain on it because I want to start working on it and stuff. And, uh, maybe maybe I can touch it up here and there, you know, as I go along. But uh, anyway, just want to show you what I was doing here. The stain that I'm using is a uh, jail stain. Uh, it's actually stain that we used on our front door. We got five glass doors on our home. and uh, It's darker color and I kind of like it. Um, and I, I think the top of it, I think I'm gonna try to make it a uh, little bit lighter color. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm gonna put a little bit lighter color on top. And I uh, think about, uh, this here, this is just a little bit lighter wood than this uh, southern yellow pine. So that's one reason I wanted to uh, use uh, darker stain on this here to uh, just uh, darken it down there a little bit. I like the way it looks so far, looking real good. One thing I like about this gel stain is uh, you don't have to worry about dripping everywhere. And you can rub it in real good. And this is the first time I ever used a shell stain on wood. And uh, so far I'm liking ways to, you know, working. You can take that uh, regular liquid type stain and you'll have that stuff all over you if you're not careful. But, uh, I'm not sure, I have another type of gel stain that's a little bit lighter than this. I may decide to put that on my top, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I've done change stains now. I've got some, uh, let me see what this is called here. It's gel stain. This gel stain is called Colonial Oak. And uh, putting this on this bottom board here, get a little contrast in dark and the light color. So I think that's gonna look pretty good. Alright y'all put some of this colonial oak gel stain on my top. I decided it looks so good on my board underneath my table. Here I decided to put it on the top here. A while ago I dropped a little bit on my floor and I said, I thought I started thinking, well, I wonder how I can get that up without staining my floor. So, I started thinking about my shop, my drop oil in my shop. I just take some oil dry or kitty lube or something like that, put it on my concrete, or if I ain't got that, I'll take some uh, dirt outside and rub it in and absorb that oil. I started thinking, well, I've got sawdust all in the floor, so I just took some of my sawdust, put it on it, and carefully rubbed it in. And, Believe it or not, it didn't leave a stain on my floor. Took every bit of that stain 
I'm not gonna say it worked on all stains, but this particular gel stain, it, it took it right up. I guess y'all can tell I'm kind of picky about stuff. It's just a shop floor and uh, it's gonna get paint, stain, everything on it eventually. But being kind of new, I try to take care of things. I just, I'm, I've always been that way. No matter my vehicles or my shop tools or anything, I try to take care of you know, what I have. Now I'll be doing good now if I, 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 I slag up on my eating and start taking care of me a little bit better. <laughs> Y'all think that's funny, don't you? <laughs> but seriously, I need to. Need to go on a diet. All right, y'all, uh, just got through putting a uh, Coat of polyurethane on my shop bench. Uh, put it on my legs and underneath there. You can kind of see right there. I stained the um, this part right here a different color than I did my legs and my support down there. It's a little bit darker. So everything got a nice transition there. I I, I like the way it turned out. It looks real nice. Looks actually nicer than I, I thought it would. You know, I didn't have intentions to. Uh, you know make it look so nice it just uh, it just happened that way uh, Tasha may want me to put in the house <laughs> now I built it you know, it's too tall to build like a farm table but I guess you could use it you know if it's just a touch shorter you know I'm a little tall there so I, I made it a little tall for you know make sure it's easy on my back working on it so um, I'm happy the way it turned out there uh, you see the top right here I'm gonna put two more coats that polyurethane on top right here and uh, I help protect the top. And back here, you can see me where I started putting up my boards on the back wall back here. So shops come together now, uh, little by little. I I'll, I'll get it done. And I'll show y'all my uh, table right here. This morning I, I took a uh, router and went around the edges. Uh, just put me a little nice uh, shape around the edge, round through here, a little round over two-step deal I guess it's a round over with a 45 degree uh, on it so that, that turned out pretty good um, but anyway I just want to show you uh, what my, how my shop bench uh, turned out and uh, appreciate everybody watching the videos I uh, hope y'all been enjoying them and I'd like to say thank you for all the new subscribers subscribing to our channel and thank you to the old subscribers which you know I don't Really like calling y'all subscribers, y'all my friends, so uh, I like to say it that way. Appreciate all my friends out there watching the videos. So, uh, as always, for my family, yours, friends, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see y'all later. Bye bye.